So we were introduced to the concept of data binding in the previous video and how we can change a value in the component and have the value here reflected, which is great for what we are building, which is kind of like a date slash time component, right? I want to print the date and the time, and I wanted to constantly update on, um, on a per second basis. Every second I wanted to have the new date and the time. This is great because I can change the value of the string for every second, right? As every second passes, I'm gonna have an updated time value in this thing. And since this is one-way data binding, since this is bound to the value of message, it keeps updating automatically. So let me show you how that works. The first thing I'm gonna to do to make this change is move this out of here and into a constructor. I'm going to retain this as a member variable. And uh, I'm gonna call this date message. And uh, in my constructor, I'm gonna say this dot date message equals new date dot to date string. And in my date component, I'm going to refer to the new name, date message. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is get rid of this HTML file. Here, I'm also gonna print the time. Let current date equals new date. So I'm gonna create a new date object and I'm going to hold on to it in a local variable called current date and here I'm going to say current date dot two dates string and then add a space current date dot two locale date string so this is going to be our sorry I'm going to say locale time string so I get the time as well. So I have the date and the time. So see, it prints the date and the time. If I were to refresh this, the time changes, but it's not changing it automatically. I'm gonna have to click refresh for this to change. However, what I wanna do is have the time kind of tick away as the page is open, right? Every second I want the value to change. In order to do that, it's very simple. I just need to make sure that this date message value keeps updating every second. I do that by setting an interval. You have a new date created in the constructor and it doesn't change at all, right? The component gets created, the date gets created, and it's the same value that's being used. What I'd like to do is get this new date object every second, and I do that by setting this as an as a function inside the interval API. Set interval is a method that takes in two arguments. The first is a callback, the function that needs to execute, and the second is how often it needs to be executed. So I'm going to have a callback function here as the first argument, and then the second argument is how often the callback needs to be called. I want it to be called every second, so I pass in thousand milliseconds there. In the callback function, I'm going to create this logic right here. So every second, I am creating this current date object as a new date, and I'm setting that value, which is this date string and time string, to this date message member variable of this class. Now, thanks to data binding, since this is uh, bound to that member variable value, the component should automatically render the new value every time. So if you switch to the browser window, you see here, it is ticking away. Every second, the property of the component is being updated with the new value and it's getting displayed automatically. You didn't have to write code to display the value every second. All you had to do was write code to change the property, the value of the property in the class, and then thanks to data binding, it gets automatically updated every second. And with this, we have your 
date slash time component. All working fine. Okay, so this is a start. We have uh, a value which is getting changed in the in the component and getting displayed in the view. This is also proof that data binding works. All you have to do to change the view is to change the corresponding member variable of the backing component class. The thing that I want to highlight is a difference between this and the Angular 1 way of doing things. If you're not an Angular 1 developer, you can just skip to the next video, but I want to highlight this in case you have used to doing something like this in Angular JS or Angular 1. In Angular 1, this wouldn't work. You couldn't set interval and change a value of a component and then, or change the value on a scope and have the view reflect from an asynchronous operation. That wouldn't work because of the thing called digest cycle. Angular JS identifies value changes using what's called a digest cycle process. Unless a digest cycle runs in Angular JS, Angular wouldn't know that something has changed and it wouldn't know to update the view. There is no such concept of a digest cycle in Angular 2 plus, all right? In Angular 5, you don't have a concept of a digest cycle. All you need to do is update any value that you want updated and the component is gonna show it. It could be an asynchronous update as well, just like set, set interval, all right? If this is not familiar to you, you're not familiar with digest cycle in AngularJS, don't worry about it, I just wanna call that out because if you happen to be an AngularJS developer, this is a huge difference with the way you do things in Angular 1 versus the Angular 2 plus framework.